This is a well-traveled route for old Simeon. It takes her to the Poissy prison near Paris, where, twice a week for 15 years, she's been teaching literature to inmates. Her students all serving long sentences within these walls. Aude is among the few outsiders allowed into this cloistered world. A few that doesn't include our crew. She's written about her experiences in a book, Teacher in Jail, the story of an educator who passionately believes learning can give prisoners a new taste for life in society. It's really long. I've counted them. There's around 20 gates to pass through before I get to my class. And after all that, there's either a supervisor in flesh and bones, which is okay because there's at least human contact, or a camera, which is a lot less humane and is the norm in prisons these days. And finally, I reach my class, where the students are usually waiting for me. From the outset, we have the impression that they're not capable or don't know how to adapt or live within the rules and that they kind of rebel against those narrow confines we would make them enter. So here we're trying to give a new image of school, that it needn't be a trap, that it's a chance. Can education change the lives of inmates? We asked one, Girard, whose identity we've concealed. After 20 years inside for armed robbery, he's now on parole. It took a prison term and lessons behind bars to make him finally feel part of society. You're seen in a more positive light, really. That's the thing. They don't treat you like crap. They say, we're going to give you a course. They take an interest, and that's rewarding. Giving them a voice, a chance to express themselves in a new way. Old Simeon believes the prisoners benefit even if academic success in jail is rare. But sometimes there is good news. Last year, one of our ex-students got a job in a media library. Proof that you can build a new future behind bars. We see them only as students, students learning about the Persian letters or the seed. They take exams like other students, and if they drop out, they have a review that has nothing to do with the prison. It's an external course. So I think it's really important that within this closed universe, there's a window onto the world outside. But Ode faces an uphill struggle to convince the daughters, especially the prisoners themselves. In France, only 20% of inmates volunteer for education programs.